Today I want to do the forward roll. So I'm going to go to mixamo.com and look for a roll. This animation called jump over. I like this. Download it. 60 frames per second. And once you're done downloading, I'm going to put it in my humanoid animations folder. Wait. Rename it first. Forward roll. Put it in there. And we do the usual stuff. Rig humanoid apply. Configure sample t-bind pose apply done. Re rename it in the animation tab forward roll. Check these two boxes. And there we have it. And we don't want the entire animation. So from 20 to where the player lands and rolls. One ten. Okay, I think this looks good. Now I'm going to go to the YBOT animator and drag in the forward roll. And we're going to go from running. So make the transition from running to forward roll. Adjust the curve. And if I look at running, we already have two indexers. I'm going to create one more. So player forward roll transition indexer three. And it's going to change the index to three, and the only condition is going to be up. So if I add the ability and play, if I press up, we go, we go into the front roll. We also need to come back to running, so make the transition. And the condition is that grounded is true, move is true, and turbo is true. Let me also create a folder for the forward roll. We're going to have move forward. Player forward roll move forward. Lock direction. It's going to be a constant speed graph, decreasing graph. For now, I'm not going to pay too much attention to these variables. I'm going to do that later when I do the fine tuning. So for now, what's important is that the forward roll is going to have 
the ground detection ability, general ground detector, as well as move forward. So now if I click play, we get the move forward and we go back to running. And if we don't have the right conditions, we get stuck. So I'm going to have additional transitions back to walking. For walking, move is true and grounded is true. I'll also say turbo is false. Oops. So we can go back to walking as well as running. The transition to walking is a little too quick. Okay, looks much better that way. The animation itself is also way too slow, so I'm going to increase it by 50%, maybe 20. We also need a transition back to index. And this is the one with the least amount of conditions. If grounded is true, and that's pretty much it. For running and walking, the transition has to be earlier than the transition for idle. So, change the graph a little bit. So the idea is we check for running and walking, and then if none of that matches, we go to idle. I think there's also a bit of lag when we went from running to forward roll. That is because we have exit time. Oh, wait a minute. We also need the index. So index equals three. That's the condition for you to go from running to the forward roll. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, we also need to change this state. Make sure you check this box for the forward roll. You don't want to be able to turn immediately until you finish the roll. Okay, looks good. This is a more like a rough draft. I think it already looks pretty good. The animation might be a little too slow. Let me also change the graph a little bit. There's a slight moment when you wind up for the...
jump where you put your feet together that's when you slow down a little bit so that's what this graph means guess I'll add another key here in the in the end looks all right for now I want to add one more transition which is from rolling to falling So for the fall, I guess you fall right about here. Okay, and the condition is that grounded is true or false for falling. So if you're grounded, things are pretty normal. We can go into idle, walking, and running. But I'm now going to roll from the platform and we go straight into falling. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. I think that's enough for one video. In the next video, we'll add a few more details. Thanks for watching.